stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, the church today celebrates the feast of the apostles Simon the Cananean and Jude Thaddeus. The Archdiocese of Manila also marks today the 50th Episcopal Ordination Anniversary of His Eminence Gaudencio Cardinal Rosales, Archbishop Emeritus of Manila. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise, praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take, you take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of saints Simon and Jude that the church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. 
Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. They pours out the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world, their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When they came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve whom he also named Apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kung tayo ay manonood ng sine, pelikula, ano yung ating hinahanap Bakit ito yung ating pinapanood? What do we look for in a movie? Others will choose for the genre of the movie. Yung iba gusto nila yung action. Yung iba gusto nila yung drama lang. Yung iba yung nakakatawa. Comedy. Yung iba naman gusto nilang Merong iyakan, merong tragedy. Yung iba, yung nakakatakot, suspense thriller. At yung iba naman, sci-fi, fiction. Kung Pinoy, iyan, pakidrama. Hindi po ba, may sampalan, merong sambunutan, merong iyakan, merong sigawan, Kung Pinoy action movie man, panuoring natin yung bida. Mabaril niya limang mga tao mula sa isang bala. At alam natin, mamamatay yung lima kahit isang bala lang iyon. Hindi po ba? 
Others will choose the actors or the actresses, the cast of the movie. Uy, panuurin ko yan. Dahil si Tom Cruise, no? yung bida. O dahil si sino pa? Angel Luxin, yung bida. No? Dahil sa artista, panuurin natin yung pelikula o yung sine. Yung sikat, yung kilala. Kung martial arts actors, nandyan si na Steven Seagal, parang wala na yata siyang pelikula. Nandyan si Jackie Chan. Nandyan si Jean-Claude Van Damme. Eh kung western action movie, napakarami. Hindi po ba? Yung huling pinanood ko, hindi ko na maalala dahil yung mga pelikulang lumalabas ngayon, hindi magaganda, hindi gaanong maganda. Manonood tayo ng sine sa sinehan man o sa Netflix man o sa Disney Plus man no? o sa iba't ibang channels sa TV dahil uri ng pelikula at sa kilala, sikat yung artista. Nanonood tayo. And we won't watch a movie with upstarts as casts dahil hindi kilala, hindi sikat. If we reduce the gospel to a movie, and sometimes when we watch Netflix, there are certain seasons, no? episodes like The Chosen, diba? who will take the role of Saints Simon and Jude? Sino kaya? Siguro yung baguhan lang na magsisimula pa sa kanyang acting career na may malaking potential. Yung hindi pa gaanong kilala. Kaya kung mapansin po natin si Simon Cananean, San Judas Tadeo, dalawa sa labindalawang mga apostol ng Panginoong Hesus, halos hindi po natin sila kilala na parang pwede silang gawing backstage hand, pwede silang gawing background. Pwede silang gawing extra nasa likuran lang. Kaya mapansin natin sa Ebanghelyo, sa talaan, listahan ng mga apostol, nasa pinakababa sila. Maliban kay Judas Iscariote, yung taksil. Diba? Sino si San Judas Tadeus? Hindi si Judas Iscariote ha? Sino si San Judas Tadeus? Saint Jude Tadeus. Isinilang sa distrito ng Galilea. At namatay siya, pinatay, naging martir sa taong 65, 65 AD, doon sa Beirut. Ngayoy kabisera ng bansang Lebanon, kung saan may giyera. At dati, yung Beirut na iyan ay bahagi ng probinsya ng Roma ng Syria, Roman province of Syria. St. Jude Tadeus labored in Libya. He labored in Mesopotamia, present-day Iraq. And he also labored in Syria. Tinawag siyang Tadeus, Thadaios, na ang ibig sabihin, matapang. Courageous. Saint Jude the Courageous. Saint Jude Thaddeus. Because the letter of Jude speaks about being courageous, persevering in an environment of harsh, difficult circumstances, in desperate cases. Kaya merong novena sa kanya dahil ginawa nating patron of desperate Cases. May apat na bagay ang ating napag-alaman kay San Judas Tadeo. Una, alam natin na siya ay isang apostol. Ibig sabihin, pinili dahil pinadala. Ikalawa, ang kanyang palayaw ay Tadeus. Tadayos. Ibig sabihin, courageous. Matapang. Ikatlo, Siya yung nagtanong 
sa Panginoong Hesus doon sa huling hapunan, Lord, why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Mababasa natin ito sa Ebanghelyo ayon kay San Juan. At ikaapat, his name is mentioned before or after that of Simon the Cananean. Sino naman itong si Simon? Una, isinilang siya sa distrito ng Judea. Hindi po siya taga-Kana. Hindi siya Kanaanite. Hindi po siya nakatira sa Kanaan. He labored in Egypt. He labored in Persia, present-day Iran. He labored in Armenia. And he labored in Lebanon. Doon siya naging martir sa Persia, present-day Iran. At meron siyang palayaw. His nickname was Kananayos. Kagaya ni Judas, Tadeus, Tadayos, Courageous, yung kay San Simon ay Kananayos. Kananayos, Zilot, Zilus, Masigasig, Masipag, Matiyaga. He was zealous for the law of Moses. Kung anong sinabi ng titik ng batas, yun na yun ang ibig sabihin. Tatlong bagay ang alam natin kay San Simon na masigasig, matiyaga, masipag. Una, siya ay isa sa mga labindalawang apostol ng Panginoong Hesus. Ikalawa, na siya ay isang religious enthusiast zilot nga ang tawag sa kanya, masipag. Ikatlo, binanggit siya sa listahan ng mga apostol, kagaya ng ating narinig sa Ebanghelyo ngayon. And his name is mentioned before or after that of Jude or Judas Tadeus. Saint Simon and Jude, almost unknown apostles. Halos hindi natin sila kilala. Ngunit ang ating napag-alaman mula sa unang pagbasa, mula sa liham ni San Pablo, isinaad doon. It tells us that they are the solid foundation of the church. Malaking aral ang ating maaani mula sa mga pagbasa ngayon. In the eyes of God, You don't have to be a popular actor. You don't have to be a popular actress. You don't have to be a genius or a beautiful person. You can be a beast. You don't have to be an earth shaker or a social media influencer. You don't have to be a great leader. In fact, you don't have to be a colorful character or an inventor. You don't have to be a who's who. You only need to be who God created you to be. Kung sino kayo na kayo'y inilikha ng Diyos, ikaw na iyon. You just have to be solid, principled individuals like the apostles because they were any ordinary Juan de la Cruz, like the rest of us, but they were also solid, matatag. They can be depended on for the thankless job of announcing the gospel, for living out the faith day by day. Ordinary talents need no headlines, but it is they who make headlines. So we can be apostles to our children. Pwede tayong mga apostol sa ating mga kaopisina. Pwede tayong mga apostol. Kagaya ni San Simon. Kagaya ni San Judas Tadeo. Sa ating mga kamag-aral. We just need to be solid and stand on our principles, our foundation. Ito ang ating kahilingan. Let us ask Saint Simon, the zealous, and Saint Jude, the courageous, a share in their unsung 
but burning zeal for the cause of Christ. Please stand. As parts of a building that has the apostles and prophets as its foundation, let us bring our intercession before the Father of mercies. Our reply, Father, bless us whom you formed with the faith of the apostles. Father, bless us whom you formed with the faith of the apostles that there may be continued growth of the Catholic Church through the preaching and examples of our religious leaders and missionaries. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father bless, bless us whom you formed with, with the faith of, of the, the apostles. apostles, that we may have the energy and zeal of Saint Simon. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father bless, bless us whom you formed with, with the faith of the, of the apostles. apostles that we may imitate the solitude and humility of St. Jude. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father bless, bless us whom you formed with the faith of the apostles, that the Lord may grant healing to those who are sick and strength to those who are in despair. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father, bless, bless us, us whom you formed with the faith of the apostles, that those who have died may enjoy forever the fullness of God's saving power, which they have always longed for. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father bless, bless us, us whom you formed with, with the, the faith, faith of the apostles. Merciful Father, as we pray for others, may we share in the apostolic service of those who were called and chosen. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Friends, pray that your and my sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Amen. Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory, glory of, of his name, for, for our, our good, good and the good, good of, of all his holy, holy church. church. As we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostles Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebration of these sacred mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Heavenly Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for you built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Simon and Jude, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread. bread. And, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power, and the, the glory, glory are yours, yours now Amen. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Magandang umaga, magandang buhay po sa lahat. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, now blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof but, but only say the word and, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having received this sacrament, O Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passion of the apostles Simon and Jude may keep us ever in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you.